Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces February 14, 2023. The moon spends the day in house 8 of your solar chart, making it a perfect time to pour your energy into something you love. Transits today support tying up loose ends of a project and reviewing what you need to do next. Feeling organized is the key to feeling on top of things right now. You're in a powerful cycle for independent work, motivation, and drive. It's a good time to commit to a personal project or goal. Your heart is truly in your endeavors. Your dedication and commitment are more noticeable. There can be times when you're so focused on your needs and projects that people in your life feel a little left out. However, it's a fine time to tap into your initiative. Our lovely Luna will make us especially moody and brooding today. As she swims the depths of Scorpio, intensity is guaranteed. This will encourage you to dig deep into your desires and your personal relationships. As she brings her light and energy to your solar house, you'll have an intuitive itch just waiting to be explored around intimacy, sexuality, or your needs in a partnership. For couples, this is a good period to get physical while you discuss your desires and plans and have a heart-to-heart -heart about what you'd like to explore together. What will you do to feel secure with your financial and professional opportunities? You might be highly fixated on working on your stability while the moon is fall in Scorpio. Since the moon will conjunct the south node in Scorpio and oppose the north node in Taurus, this might cause some issues. It would be easy to revert to old habits or ways that you feel comfortable operating within to find your footing. But it would be better to push yourself to seek out opportunities to level your emotional security with your finances and work instead. As well as fueling your financial instincts and imagination the moon's monthly visit to your financial sector will always involve a clash with Uranus in your income sector. Any financial tension today is a familiar and fleeting reminder and it comes to a balance between money coming in and money going out. What will turn this into motivation is the moon's friendly aspect to Venus, the planet of money in an intuitive and imaginative part of your chart. Today's planetary alignment benefits communication in almost every aspect of your life. The key is to understand the principle of brotherly love. If you seek to understand, rather than be understood, you will be greatly assisted by this transit. To prepare your mind and ears for listening, take some deep breaths and hold for a second or two before exhaling nice and long. This gets the blood flowing around your head and supports your thought processes. The creative energy of this day is yours for the taking. This can serve you well in both your professional and personal life when it comes to problem solving. The influence from this vibration can see you thinking from different angles. A different perspective can illuminate possible solutions you hadn't thought of before. Have a second look at anything you've been working on lately that has posed a challenge. The answers may be there in a blink of an eye. It is just as Venus moves into her final seven days in a nostalgic and reflective but also intuitive and imaginative part of your chart ahead of her return to Aries that she forms a friendly aspect to the moon, as it is passing through your financial sector. As the planet of money, this is something that Venus will have a special interest in and with an encounter with dreamy Neptune already firing up your imagination, it won't take much to fuel your financial confidence, instincts and imagination. A week on from a full moon in your romantic sector and with the moon having moved through your relationship sector since then, you have had an insight into both romantic and relationship matters and the timing couldn't be better. With Venus, the planet of love just seven days away from her early return to Aries this has been a chance to get a jump on her mission to both update your romantic and relationship desires and expectations and to turn those desires into reality. Our eyes in the sky. It's important to remember that our emotions can be complex and often stem from multiple sources. It's important to be mindful of this and not to assume that just because you're feeling a certain way, it must be because of a particular person or situation. By taking some time to reflect and practice self-awareness, you can gain a better understanding of the root of your emotions. This can also help you to better manage your emotional responses, 
so that you don't end up transferring your frustrations onto others. Exercise can be a great tool for helping to manage our emotions. Not only does it provide an outlet for stress and frustration, but it also has physical and mental health benefits that can contribute to overall well-being. Whether it's a yoga class, a run through the park, or a simple walk, taking time for physical activity can be a great way to tune out the world and focus on yourself. This can give you the space you need to reflect and process your emotions, so that you can better understand their origin and manage them in a healthy way. So, if you're feeling overwhelmed or confused emotionally, it's okay to take some time for yourself. Whether it's through exercise or simply spending some time alone, give yourself the space to reflect and process your feelings. This can help you to better understand your emotions and prevent them from causing harm to yourself or others. When faced with unexpected events, it's easy to become overwhelmed by our emotions and react impulsively. However, it's important to remember that the universe is not necessarily working against us. In these moments, it's crucial to take a step back and examine our tendencies towards reactivity. If we can learn to control our impulses, we will have more control over our own lives and the outcome of events. By making stillness our objective and striving to keep our cool, we can avoid acting on instinct and instead, wait for things to unfold. This is not to say that we should remain passive, but rather that we should approach events with a sense of detachment and openness. By doing so, we can better understand the situation and respond in a way that is in line with our values and goals. It's also important to remember that the Scorpio moon opposing Uranus in Taurus is a temporary cosmic event and will pass. By being mindful of our emotional reactions during this time, we can use this opportunity to learn more about ourselves and develop better strategies for managing our emotions in the future. So, if you're feeling surprised or frustrated today, try to keep your cool and wait for the chips to fall. You'll be in a much better position to make informed decisions when you have a clearer head and a calm mind. The trine between the moon and Pallas, the goddess asteroid of wisdom, is a time of potential insight and clarity. If we have been patient and mindful throughout the day, we may now be gifted with a solution to our dilemma. This is because the emotional intensity that previously clouded our judgment has now subsided, allowing us to see things from a different perspective. As the moon aligns with Pallas, we may be presented with a clue, a pattern, or a sign that we were unable to see before. This is a time to trust our intuition and pay attention to the information that is being revealed to us. We can use this newfound wisdom to make decisions that are in line with our values and goals, and to move forward in a way that supports our health and well-being. It's important to remember that the key to making progress is to do so in a way that is sustainable and doesn't come at the expense of our health and well-being. Intensity can be a powerful force, but it can also be destructive if not channeled in a strategic way. By employing intensity in a strategic manner, we can harness its power to work for us rather than against us. This can help us to achieve our goals and make progress in a way that supports our overall health and happiness. So, as the moon trines Pallas in Cancer, take some time to reflect on your goals and values, and pay attention to any insights or information that may be revealed to you. With careful consideration for your health and well-being, you can make progress and achieve success in a way that supports you and your happiness.